I love and Lord I'm here with another video before we get into this video I want to say if you're not already subscribed to Day Love TV go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below um don't forget to like share and comment and I would love it if you followed me on my socials I will have them on the screen and they will also be in the description bar down below on I'm on Facebook Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Clubhouse, you name it, follow me, stay connected with your girl. Um, so with that being said, and we got that part out of the way, let's dive right into the video. Now, y'all, I am lucky a little sick because I just filmed, at least I thought I was filming my playing with me. That's what this video was supposed to be, playing with me. Um, I'm not proclaiming to be in the planner community but I love planners and I know how helpful they can be what I did film I will insert after this part so you guys can see a little bit like a little snippet of how I kind of do my planner but I figured I can make the beginning of the video more or less kind of showing you guys my planner um, the planner I use how I set it up a little bit and how I make it work for me now I used to have a different style planner um, one that I actually got from Walmart and it was the horizontal view I didn't mind it but um, I knew going into 2021 that I wanted something that I could really separate the different areas of my life and fully plan out um, each section of my day so for me um, because I am doing a lot um, me and my mom have multiple businesses together but then I also have my own business so I that's how I have my planner broken up from other businesses to social media so I'm staying on top of what I'm posting as well as day love cosmetics so the planner that I use is this bad boy right here this is actually from the reckless recollections brand from michaels um i went in and i was intended on getting a happy planner originally but um i saw this planner besides the cover that i think is really pretty um and the pretty gold details i love what's included in this planner so let me show you guys real quick um i have some personal stuff on the front so the first part that you see is this i tried to write my name all cute y'all don't come for me um but outside of that the next part is you get your overview hold on y'all i'm struggling you get your overview like this and then the next part which i enjoy making this page this one is probably one of my prettiest pages that i have in my planner and it is my goals page i really believe in writing down your goals and making it plain so i took the time to write down my goals for 2021 i divided them into different sections of uh, my life or areas of my life so that um as i'm accomplishing them i can cross them off so that is my goals page but one thing i did love about this planner is that it comes with a few like stickers of its own so you get some black and white stickers that I think are really pretty, which is happens to be the theme I use for this week. So you get like three or four pages of stickers. It also came with a nice, a nice little pocket, double-sided. So I, I do keep a few stickers in here. And then one thing that I did add to it, because it's not a happy planner, so I can't add um, pages to it, but I did print out a calendar for myself so this is my personal social media calendar that I just printed off and I pre-planned what I want to post what is the overall theme for that day um, for my motivational Wednesdays which is on Facebook live I figure out what what do I want to talk about what do I want to motivate you guys about and then even with real talk Friday um, I figure out what I want to talk about that's on Instagram so try to stay up to date on that and that information I do translate to my weekly planner. Um, the monthly view I mostly use for budgeting purposes so I'm not showing that but um, my first like Intel deep plan with me or planner view was this week. So this one I kind of like played along with it see you know saw what worked what didn't work and last week i have to say was the best week that i've planned and so for this 
current week that we're in, I kind of tried to mimic how I planned that week. And so I have it where um, other businesses is at up top and then I do social media in the middle and then the bottom portion is Day Love Cosmetics. So this was last week's week. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, and on the sidebar, I just include um, some habit trackers that I want to keep track of. So like for this week, um, I did it more so um, in the black and white thing. So as you guys can see, I have my habit trackers, which I track um, my AM and PM routines, um, my hydration. I set some weekly goals for myself so I don't get distracted on what I need to accomplish. And then even for during the week, um, as you guys can see, I, I really have it separated. And this works for me. Down below, I try to kind of meal prep. I haven't added that yet. I actually just set this up but by the time you guys watch this um it'll be thursday so i would have already filled this out already by then but um yes i do kind of meal plan my day so i know what i plan on cooking for that day and it really just helps me stay focused as far as not eating out so much and prepping for what i'm going to cook making sure i have the food and eating the food that i have um on hand and then even just with my am and pm routines this is something that I actually bought extra to include in my planner just as a reminder so I have a reminder of what my AM routine looks like what my PM routine looks like and then for my post schedule what am I posting on these days um, well the overall theme I should say so well the content itself will be different per day um, overall the theme for that day is is right here and then on the back I just have some some things to remember so that I don't forget oh gosh that glare there we go some things to remember so that I don't forget and just a daily um weekly everyday type of affirmation that I can see and just remind myself and so I keep that in my planner um it also serves as a little um bookmark so I can easily access the current week that I'm on um that's really all I had to share. I do want to say this though. I say, as I say, that's all I have to share. I have one more thing I'm gonna say. Um, if you're not really a planner person, I do want to suggest possibly, you know, thinking about going into getting a planner. I know I've tried planners numerous of times, and sometimes, you know, I would get overwhelmed with not being able to decorate the way I want to decorate it. And I will say, regardless of if I decorate my planner or not, like having it decorated is a bonus. For me um i will say decorating it is very relaxing for for me um but it can be stressful so overall i use my planner to stay organized um prior to getting this one like i said the one i had was from walmart and i used it to stay organized Do I have it? Oh, i don't have it with me i thought i had it with me my old planner i use it to stay organized to really just lay out what I need to get done and keep me organized and on track. Um, my very first week in this planner was kind of like during like Christmas break and we only had like half days. And so it looked like this. I didn't decorate it. I didn't do anything. I mainly just made to-do lists. And for me, that's the main use of my planner. Me being able to have the space I need to make the certain to-do lists. And y'all had a phone call I am filming this um kind of in between a break <laughs> but um no as I was saying you do want to understand what type of style of planner that works best for you like I said I've had planners throughout the years and I can truly say um especially now where I'm at in life and what I need my planner to be able to do the vertical planner three broken up sections works the best for me right now mainly because I use my planner um my monthly view I use as my 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 budget I have the overview of my bills from personal to business to other I keep that all in my overview monthly um 
monthly view of my planner as well as some important dates so i have birthdays in here i have important like tax dates in here um just important dates i keep in here from even like closing days i keep on my monthly view whereas like during the week i want to be able to track and break up my day because my day is broken up um keep track of what i need to do from this time to this time i know at first i was contemplating if i wanted to get like an hourly planner so i can time block but the more i looked at that planner style i knew it wasn't going to work for me just because i'm a lister i like being able to write my list out especially for each section and check it off as i do it 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 gives me a sense of satisfaction knowing i can check something off so for me like even when i'm looking back at my planner being able to write my list for each section is very important it helps me stay track and stay productive and organized so my planner as of right now is being able to do what i need to do and i knew there was a few extra things i did want to track especially as i am trying to create new habits in 2021 so my routines drinking more water um, my meal planning and some other personal routines or trackers that i keep on the bottom just to keep me focused keep me on track so i do want to say i encourage you guys to get a planner um find one that fits you like for me a planner is necessary it keeps me organized it keeps me focused um, outside of a planner. I also have a work on a book. And this one, I actually happened to find in the dollar section in Target. And you guys, it is, I love it. I love it mainly for this section right here. Can you guys see? This does nothing, but can you guys see? I love it because it has the to-do, the meeting notes and reminders. So I can easily tear a page out of here and just kind of like paper clip it into the week I'm on. And then I also use this for when I'm going into meetings because I can put the date um, of the meeting at the top. So I, y'all, I'm always talking about journaling. I'm always talking about notebooks. This one right here, I absolutely love. It was only, it was all of $5, $5, y'all. So, and I do want to point out this planner. I think I got it for, 28 but michael's always has coupons so i was able to take you a 30 percent off coupon for it so i didn't even pay that much for it so you guys I'm telling y'all if you don't have a planner yet it's still early in the year i encourage y'all to get one get you a planner and it doesn't have to be this big i personally love full page like book style planners they're my favorite so um that's all i wanted to share with you guys i am going to roll the clip um Sadly, it doesn't go into full detail. I'm so sorry, y'all. I thought I was recording everything that I was doing and I got a phone call, didn't realize it. My apologies. Um, I probably will do another video of like plan review and you guys can see me plan um, a week in my planner. But I think all this clip shows is like the sidebar. Um, I'm contemplating if I want to include it or not. If I include it, you will see see it next. If I don't, then this is the end of the video. Um, I love you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell. Like, share, and comment. Let's talk in the comments. What are your plans? What planner do you use? What planner do you like? Let's talk in the comments. Um, and I will do another video showing you guys how I set up my planner, which this isn't even fully done because I gotta figure out how I'm gonna cover up these pinks over here. So, um, I am gonna do that. I probably will run the small clip, but um, with no further ado, I will see you guys in the next video next week. I'm super excited about that video. Um, and again, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys, and I will see y'all later. Bye.